Hey guys, Tom Cherry Holmes here with uh, Irata Online and the FujiNet project and I wanted to make a quick little demo uh, showing one of the things I use FujiNet for daily which is to actually help with my exercise routine. This will be just really quickly but it's actually demonstrating a practical use of the disk rotate function which I actually uh, demonstrated yesterday. So. You can see right here, my uh, desk has been updated. You can see my 1050 is no longer here. All I have is just the uh, FujiNet uh, unit hooked up to my 1200XL, nothing through the pass-through port. I still have the USB power connect, uh, the, the uh, USB power and programming connected here because I'm actively putting stuff in the firmware, but uh, it's not needed. I can just as easily remove it. and power on and we can see that we come up to a nice empty FujiNet implementation here we have here in our host list a few things uh, SD for our local card slot, FujiNet Online, one of the publicly available TNFS servers and a local TNFS server here running on one of my computers here which is named TMA1 so if I go here we'll see a number of disks that I've got just sitting over here on my local file server and two of them that I need for this are personal fitness and personal fitness data um, the first being the program disk and the second being the data disk now because personal fitness doesn't know anything about uh, having more than one drive I'm going to have to use the disk rotate function to put the data disk in whenever it asks for it but we have to set it up first and in order for us to set it up, we need to put the two disks that we need to use in their respective drives. Since personal fitness needs to be booted, it will go into drive one. We select it, go ahead and do read only so that we don't accidentally overwrite it. And we go back and select the second disk here for data. Put it in drive two, mount it as read write so that I can write my data for the day. I also have my yoga mat over here on the floor ready to go. So with that we have those two discs in place. I press the option key, just tap it because I do need to use basic. And within a few moments we boot up and give ourselves the opportunity to load the exercise program. And yes, this program actually does work. You'll see right here, it's asking us to insert our data disk and push the start key. Well, there's no disk slot on the FujiNet unless you count the local SD card slot. And we can't exactly remove that now, can we? But what we can do is press the user button to swap the disks. We gently tap it for a moment, let it register, and then we can see that it loads the data file ready to go. I go ahead and check my exercise progress right here. We can see I've had a steady climb upward here uh, for the last month. So you can further see the progress upward looking at the weekly charts. So, I mean, there we go. From that point, I can then go ahead and get ready for my exercise sequence. So, like I said, I do this every single day, and FujiNet is allowing me to do this more efficiently because I'm not having to take and swap disks in and out all the time. I can just keep it on the network and uh, put it in whenever I need to, and I, can, I could do this from this computer here or from my daughter's uh, XEGS in the other room if I wanted to. So, with that, eh, just a small fun video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, until next time, guys, have fun.